To start your tractor, first make sure your tractor is filled with the proper fuel and oil. After making sure your area is clear of debris or people, sit on the seat, set the parking brake, and insert the key into the ignition. Before turning the key, check to make sure the transmission is in neutral and move the clutch engagement lever or switch to the designated position. After moving the throttle to the choke position, you're ready to turn the ignition key and start the engine. Once the engine starts, release the key and slowly bring the throttle control from the choke position into the full throttle position. The choke lever may be a separate lever. During cold weather, you may need to engage the choke for a few additional minutes or until the engine has warmed up. Remember, for your safety, the tractor has a safety sensor control which automatically shuts off the engine if you are not sitting on the seat. To change your tractor's oil, be sure your tractor is on a level surface and that you have cleanup materials, an oil drain container, and the oil drain tube that's included with your tractor. First, find the oil drain valve located at the base of your tractor's engine. Remove the valve cap and install the oil drain tube onto the fitting. With the container ready to catch the oil, unlock the drain valve by pushing it in and turning. Pull it out to start the oil flow. When the oil has completely drained, close and recap the drain valve to its locked position. Remove the oil filter by turning it counterclockwise. Be careful because oil may drip from the filter and you'll want to have your cleanup materials handy. Make sure the old gasket comes off with the filter. Otherwise, remove and clean the gasket area. Always dispose the used oil at an oil recycling center. Take the new oil filter and coat the gasket with fresh oil before installing it. Screw the filter onto the engine. Once the gasket makes contact with the engine, turn the filter three quarters to one full turn more to properly secure it. Refill the engine with your new oil through the oil fill dipstick tube. Pour slowly and don't overfill. Check the oil level by inserting the dipstick into the tube. When the oil reaches the full line, replace the cap dipstick and securely tighten it. You should change the oil on your tractor after every 50 hours of use or at least once a year. If the tractor is used more than 100 hours within one year, you should instead replace the oil filter with every season or during every other oil change. To maintain your air filter, begin by detaching the filter cover and removing the filter. Clean the filter with a small soft brush. You should replace your filter as soon as possible after cleaning it, since the act of cleaning a filter can sometimes damage it. As a general rule, if you're not able to see light through the filter, replace it. Before replacing the filter and reattaching the cover, clean out any dirt or debris found in the filter location. Replacing your mower blades is a quick and easy maintenance step. To begin, raise the mower deck to the highest position. Be sure to wear appropriate hand protection, such as heavy leather gloves, and wrap the cutting edge of the blade with a heavy cloth. Using the recommended ratchet or socket, remove the blades by turning the bolt counterclockwise. Before replacing your mower blades, make sure the fins of the blade point upwards to face the deck and mandrel assembly. Also, make sure to align the center hole with the star on the mandrel so that it fits securely.